Okay, that was a beautiful study. Um, uh, good morning, everyone. It's time for personal ministries. I, yes, Brother Guron is going to help me. Um, could you remove this? Put it to the side. Yes, we, we have a little. Um, last week, um, last week, Elder Elder Fenton um, challenged me after the presentation. Where oh, there he is. Uh, he came over so subtly. You know, come here, Brother Guron. I need this came over so subtly to ask me, uh, do you have a part two to this? I didn't have fully, but I can have an idea, something I wanted to do. All right, so this morning, I have the heart here. And um, I said, so hold it higher, okay. Now, um, the, the, uh, what do you say now? A contemplation or a question or, that many have concerning personal ministries and Sabbath school always say that they're not the same. You're right. However, they cannot live without each other. Personal ministries cannot be without a Sabbath school and Sabbath school cannot function without personal ministries. All right? So I want to share with you something this morning I discovered while I was putting this together. Now, here we have um, the, the, the heart, and I'm going to bring out some parts of it to share something with us. And listen carefully later on, I'm going to ask you a question. I would like your answer from this. Now, we have here um, the heart muscle, and how does the heart work? How does the heart beat? And what makes it beat? Here we have um, specialized cardiac heart muscle cells that are in the walls of the heart. Now, these send signals to, to, to the other muscles in the heart and therefore cause a, what was my word again? A contraction, causes a contraction, right? Now, I'm going to share with you, I brought my little notes so I remind myself because there's quite a bit to go through with it here. Now, all of these um, uh, muscles that we're talk going to talk about this morning is called the CCS, Cardiac Conduction System. Why is it called the Conduction System? Because it transmits. It transmit. There is a transmission that goes on between these uh, muscles and, and, and the cells, right? All right, so... Um, now I'm going to share with you these, the names of uh, the parts that we have of this system here. Over here we have the SA node, which is called the sinatorial node. And then we, we have the AV node. There is something else inside here, but you don't see it. I forgot my ruler. There's something else that happens in here, but you don't see that. But here we have what is called the AV node or atrioventricular node. And we have right here, between here and here, is called a bundle of his, all right? And then coming down, we have two veins, you see, it's called uh, the bundle of branches, bundle branches. Down here, we have what is called the per, uh, per Kinji fibers, and they are spread out all around the ventricle, the left and right ventricle, all right? I'm going, to, I'm going to share something with you here. I'm going to explain to you how this works. I hope you're seeing it. Can you see it? Oh, I, I don't know. Squeeze the top and then get me. Oh, sorry. You see, uh, poor thing. All right. So here we have the SA node. And this node here sends a strong a signal, it gives a powerful signal to the atrium uh, muscle, atrial muscles in here that um, contracts everything. So this here sends a, a message to the AV node. The AV node then sends it down into the, 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 the bundle of his here, which carries it all the way down here through these two veins and then into the uh, Purkinje fiber. Why is it called the bundle of his? Because the person, the scientist who discovered it, that's his name. And I'm going to show you something. Why, uh, is it a coincidence that his name is his? Uh -huh. Or maybe we got some kind of his story going on in here. And then coming down here, we have all these things. Now I'm going to, um, I'm going to share something else with us and, and let you know how this operates. 
All right. What I want to tell you is that last week, could you flip the chart? Last week, I share with you um, the five principles of personal ministries. We have inspire, we have motivate, equip, train, and mobilize. Could you flip the chart again? I'm going to show you how this connects. And I'm going to do a disclaimer right now. I am not a theologian. I am no doctor of any medicine of the human anatomy. I am no RN. I am no practical nurse. I'm just a simple person and uh, that just love to <laughs> dig into some things when I get can do that. And I want you to know that, just know that you probably will hear this at your church for the first time. It may not be taught anywhere, I don't know. I said I don't have any knowledge of this, but I want to share something with you that I discovered. Remember the five principles back there from the personal ministries. I want to show you this. This is my interpreter. Well, I will share the interpretation thereof. All right. Here is the essay node, a powerful uh, muscle that doctors call it the uh, anatom anat uh, anatomical, wait, wait a minute, let me get my word correctly. Yes, pacemaker. They call it a pacemaker. You know what a pacemaker does, right? Helps to generate the heart, help the heart. So, all right, so this is what this does here. It sends a strong signal to this one. And in my interpretation, this is what I came up with. This represents God sitting on top of the right atrium. He sends a strong signal which causes the atrial uh, muscles and cells in here to contract. He comes down, I call this planet Earth, and they, he along with the Son and the Holy Spirit or the bundle of his, and I call this the, his story that we're going to learn here. Now in here, you see this chart here, but there are other charts that will show you something different. This here is called, it's lodged right in something they call Koch. I, I hope my, my nurses and doctors are listening and can correct me if I'm wrong. But it is lodged right here on the heart. Now, the heart is divided in four chambers. You have the right atrium and the left and the right and left ventricle. And right in the center there between the, the right atrium, and it's like it would appear to be a triangle, which they do call it a triangle. And I, what do they call the Lord? What, what's another name that God used? Triune God. So you're talking about Trinity unit, unifying to create a work. So here they come down. They lodge right here, and the work descends between the Holy Spirit and Jesus himself. Now, this is the question I wanted to ask you. What do you think these uh, uh, fibers are representing? Who do they represent? God's people. God's people. Now, let me tell you something. If any of these, if any of these stop working, who can tell me what happens? Tell me what's going to happen. If any of these just decide that they started to do something funny, what's going to happen? It's going to cause a dysfunction, and there's going to be some problems going on in here. And it's going to cause the working of the heart muscles here to, to, to start malfunctioning. And if all of them start picking up and doing things, then what do you think is going to happen in here? There won't be much transmission, right? There won't be much transmission, even though they're powerful and they're ready and they're, they're willing to work. But the problem comes from here. The problem comes from here. And so that is uh, something I, uh, you know, we need to consider. Now, let me, let me t share this part with you. I hope we have time. We don't? Okay, so we don't, so tell you what, Elder Fenton, part three is coming. You do not want to miss this. Okay, she wants to see the back. She wants to see the back. 
Inspire, motivate, equip, train, and mobilize. So I guess I'll be here next week, Sabbath again. Oh, well, or you do not want to miss this, I tell you. Thank you so much. But let me just share this with you. Let me just share this with you. Uh, let me just share this one text with you. What was it again? It says, Jeremiah 17, 9, The heart is desperately wicked, and who can know it? Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the God you are. And we thank you that you have... We have been made wonderfully, fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. And thank you for sitting on the top of our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Redoro. Thank you.